okay guys we're going to talk about um, mapping today okay so you guys will all receive a 1 is to 50,000 um, map and on the back of the map you receive a key or a legend giving you all the information relevant to uh, the map so you can see you get lots of information on tourism you get like uh, keys for what a caravan site is on the map of what nature reserves golf courses youth hostels parking public telephones information centers uh, youth hostels picnic sites all this stuff is here in your key you also get the different types of roads from m roads being motorways n roads being national routeways or roads being regional roads you also get another another uh, other uh, general features built up areas is in grey airports with a, with a plane sign post office with a PO police station with a uh, with a blue star um, and various other signs you also get different types of boundaries you get different types of uh, woodlands so you get a coniferous plantation with symbols that look like your Christmas tree you get natural woodlands which are like your more circular tree shape and then you get mixed where you've got coniferous uh, and natural woodland together you get antiquities which are all marked on the map in uh, red okay so named antiquities just have a red dot uh, enclosures or ring forts of a circle and battlefields have crossed uh, sword symbol um, relief or height on the map is shown by contour lines generally 10 meter contour lines sometimes 50 meter contour lines and often height is shown by a spot height with a number in meters above sea level and a, a black dot and um, water features lakes lighthouses boating activities are all shown railway lines are shown by a black line and um, railway stations are shown by a railway lines are shown by a black line with a red circle for the um, railway station um, you also get the Irish National Grid, which is the whole country laid down out in uh, letters A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, etc. Um, and it gives you the location and a place in the country. So today the map we're going to look at is in is in Templemore, so uh, Tipperary, so it's it's in the area S. Um, all the maps are one is to fifty thousand, and on the map two centimeters. Uh, equals one kilometer on the map and that's very important okay so typically what you're asked to do is to draw a half size sketch so I'll just get the right size here so we can see it well um, you have to draw a half size sketch of this map so in the case of this map here um, it's a 1 is to 50,000 map and each box is 2 centimeters long and each of those 2 centimeters represents 1 kilometer so to get half size because we know each box is 2 centimeters we just count the boxes uh, in total and just equate it as 1 because 1 centimeter is half of 2 so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12. So it's the length is 12 and the height is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Uh, 12 by 9 uh, centimeters is to do a half scale of this map. A very important point too as well as those when you are given your map that you always orientate it with the north sign uh, pointing to the north. Once you've got your map and you're given a few features to, to draw, we then go about constructing our sketch. So in the question I'm going to look at with you guys, we're being asked to draw the built-up area of Templemore and the N62 road. And it must be a half-scale map. So I will just try and show you guys how that's done. So if I just take a blank piece of paper, um, I said... There were 12 boxes across, which is 24 centimeters in total, but we're doing half scale, so it's 12 centimeters. One centimeter for each box, and then the height is going to be uh, 9 centimeters, so it's 12 
I've already on my map drawn intersection lines on the frame of the map just because it makes it easier to locate places on, on our map. Okay, so I'm going to do that same thing with, um, with my frame, just our intersection line, grid lines, just to make it easier for when we're drawing the map. We'll give it a title, uh, sketch map of Templemore. You get points for having a title, so please don't forget to have your title. You're also expected to have your north arrow in, so let's put in our north arrow. And you're also expected to have your letter, so let's have or S in there as well. Okay, so now we have to draw in what we're asked for. And in this case, we're asked to show the built-up area of Templemore and the N62 road. And if we just look at where the uh, built-up area is, it's within these two and a big um, segments of our grid. So on my sketch, I'm gonna draw a half scale in those two segments. Um, so I will just draw something like something like that. And I'll go ahead here and I'll put my key on my legend and I'll call this equals built up area of tempo more. Okay, so that's the first way we have to do. Now we have to draw on a road, a routeway. Again, if we just look at our, at our uh, map, it's true along the first um, segment across to the middle and then it goes up to the top. So it might look a little bit like And you generally write on the road that is the N62, and here in the key we write down N62 road, and that's how you draw your sketch map. Okay, so half scale, so a scale sketch of uh, Temple Mount. Okay, uh, this is from 2018, sorry, 2019 uh, question. 8a and there's another part of this question and the other part of this question was you are asked to choose a location for a bypass of of the town okay so if i just drew up my um compass points which side of the town will we go build this um to you know, have a uh, have a bypass. Well, let's have a look at our map. Um, so, I would suggest if we really dig down into the map, where would you bypass the built-up area of Templemore? Would you go um, east or west? Um, and I'm going to argue that maybe going west could be a good location. Okay. So the two reasons I'd give for going west are one. There's a 70, I think it's 73, hard to see here, but 73 meter spot height, 
which tells us it's relatively flat land. And the argument you use there is because that means it's easy to build on. And the second reason um, why this might be a good location to build is because it's close to the uh, close to a, a dart line and station. Um, so people could use this location for park and ride. Okay. Um, and then my third reason as to why this is a good location compared to going on the west side is that if we went on the west side, there is a um, a reservoir which acts as a natural barrier or lake, Temple War Lake acts as a natural barrier. And there's an area of woodland which would block a uh, development that maybe we don't want to see the environment damage of that. Okay, so um, first of all, I'm actually going to draw on your map. So we will go this side and we will call that our bypass. And we'll pull in our key as well. Um, I'm just going to look at our map again. I'm just going to give uh, some of our reasons why we, we chose this location again. So first of all, at, I'll actually zoom out just to show you it's better. Um, at this point here, which is um, S, Point S eleven eight. S eleven eight. I'm just going to draw a line, guys, so you can see what I'm talking about by by that. Um, and seven zero two. So just so we can remember how to do grid reference if you remember correctly. Um that's eleven, twelve, the letter is S. So the point between eleven and twelve, this looks like about eleven seven. So it's S eleven seven and then between seven zero and seven one it's about two parts up. So it's S eleven seven seven zero two. Um, there is a 73 meter spot height, which tells us that there is flat land, which could be a good reason to build here. Um, just some other points on that flat land. Uh, green uh, on a map color means there's an absence of changes in height and the lack of contour lines. all indicate that the area here is relatively flat and all those reasons uh, are reasons to um, to build at this location. So that's our first reason. So flat land. Second reason is that there is a um, railway station at um, let's have a look again. S twelve zero because it's right on the line there. Twelve zero seven zero probably seven zero seven or yeah seven zero seven. Okay, so that could be used for park and ride. Again, you need to explain these reasons, guys, if you do this question. So this was all from question 8A, 2019. And the last reason why you might choose this location is because of the negatives of the of the um, west side. And the two negatives are there's a reservoir and an area of natural woodland. So you can talk about the environmental impact or the difficulty in getting planning. And we we'll just give a four figure grid reference uh, for these. Um, let's go with uh, S7, sorry, S10, 
S10 and 71. So that lake's called, or lake or reservoir is called Templemore Lake. Okay, so just a quick review of my answer on this, guys, is as follows. And um, why would we build at this location? Um, one. Um, so just to explain uh, the reasons why we built the bypass at this location. One, at S118702, it's flat land. We can see that from the 73 meter spot height. We also know it's flat land because there's green color, which means the absence of height on a map. As we move to oranges and browns, um, that means more height on the map. And there's a lack of contour lines, which are those lines of equal height in the map. So that means it's a good location to build on. Secondly, there's a railway station at S120707. People could use this for park and ride, which would take more people out of the town. Um, and three, um, the negatives of the west west side of the map. So the negatives of this side of the map. There's a reservoir, uh, Templemore Lake at S1071, and there's a natural woodland also at that location. So uh, it would be difficult to be able to go around here. There might be added, uh, you know, costs of building through more marshy waters uh, and the likes here. So that's the reason. The final part of that whole question was asking about. Um, the negatives of building a bypass and I think the only negatives you'd really have to focus on um, loss of income to local shops to local businesses as as less traffic passing through the town. So, so, and you can expand that by talking about how local businesses rely on this passing trade to support hotels, restaurants and the likes. Okay, so that's question uh, 8A from um, 2019 and just to give you guys an understanding of how you do sketches and how you answer the questions relating to sketch maps. Hope this is